Welcome to this introduction to digital trains. In this short presentation, we will cover the following topics. We will explain what digital trains is, give our definition of what a digital twin is, we will give the background to digital trains and where it came from, show what digital trains can do for you, and give some applications where digital trains can be used. What is digital trains? A cloud-based environment for digital twins of rail infrastructure, rolling stock, and sub-assemblies. A place where you can collaborate on projects with colleagues, customers, or suppliers, whatever your discipline. A database for trains, including passenger and freight vehicles. Bogies and suspension components. Couplings and anti-climbers. And train gauges. A database for infrastructures. Mapping facilities to create routes profiles, including cant and transition curves. Structural gauges and fixed or sliding buffer stops. A database for train infrastructure interfaces, including wheel and rail profiles and contact patches. Digital Trains also provides a platform to manage your projects and perform simulations, where you can simulate train collisions, design and optimize the crash energy management of trains, train running operations, longitudinal dynamics, ride comfort and derailment analysis. Buffer stops, simulate trains colliding with fixed or sliding stops. Digital Trains provides a full range of analysis tools. You can view the results as full 3D animations or analyze the results graphically and download the data as CSV files. Digital Trains provides a digital twin environment. So what is a digital twin? Digital twin technology is part of the emerging world of the Internet of Things, virtual reality and artificial intelligence. Digital twins are virtual replicas of physical devices or real-world integrated systems, such as rail infrastructure, rolling stock and sub-assemblies that can be used to run simulations before the actual physical device or system is built or deployed. As systems become more complex with multiple interactive connections, having a digital equivalent and an environment to use it allows countless what-if scenarios to be virtually tested and simulated across several disciplines. Digital Twins combines CAD standard detail models with full 3D kinematic and multi-body dynamic simulation capability. Digital Twins can be used in an environment to collaborate and optimize system performance, cost and lead times. A cloud-based digital twin environment can exploit the increased computing power of cloud-based systems. Where did digital trains come from? Digital Virtual Reality Systems, DVRS, is a privately funded company. Digital Trains integrates Olio Rail and Vampire Pro software with databases on a collaborative platform. DVRS has a team of railway engineers and software specialists working together to produce cloud-based digital twin technology. Olio and Vampire have a long legacy, simulating rail vehicle dynamics and crash. Originally developed by British Rail Research, Vampire has been used to simulate and verify tests of train dynamics since the 1960s. Olio have been simulating and testing longitudinal dynamics and impacts since the 1980s. Olio's longitudinal dynamic software and Vampire's vehicle and track software were both developed by engineering companies for real-world applications and have been extensively benchmarked against real-world test data. What can you do with digital trains? There are several ways to create rail track and infrastructure in digital trains. You can enter manually by entering length and curvature of track, using tools to help design and implement transition curves and cant. Alternatively, you can interact with online maps or upload CSV files containing GPS data. Once the route is created, you can add markers to activate braking or drive forces on the train. You can add structural gauges or the position of the track side equipment. At the end of the track, you can design and simulate the performance of buffer stops. Digital Trains is equipped with tools to create rolling stock digital twins. One of the underlying principles of Digital Trains is that it should be easy to use, so there are several tools to help you create your train. Although it's easiest to modify an existing train if you have a similar train in one of your libraries. We have shown that Digital Trains has libraries for trains, vehicles, bogies, couplings and anticlimbers. There are also libraries for the devices needed to create bogies or coupling interfaces and tools to create your own devices. It is simple to create your own coupling interfaces 
and there are tools to help you optimize their performance. There are also tools to allow you to compare the performance of different trains or compare the difference between the trains themselves. And of course, you can share your trains or simulation with others. There are tools to allow you to manage your projects, including version control and an administration area where the project leader or corporate administrator can control the access rights and manage their libraries. When you have completed your build, you can review the train and its interfaces in 3D. You can even upload your own CAD models of vehicles and other components to personalize your models. Digital trains can perform train dynamic simulations. We have seen that digital trains can produce 3D representations of the rail track including transition curves and cant. We have shown digital trains can model the train's coupling interfaces. It also has the means to define and apply brake and drive characteristics, which means it is particularly suited to perform longitudinal train dynamics. These may include things like ride comfort, gangway kinematics, life cycle cost or train rescue. Together with the ability to simulate the wheel-to-rail interface and bogey suspension systems means, Digital Trains is also well suited to performing curving and derailment assessments. Digital Trains also has the ability to perform static, kinematic or absolute gauging. The swept volume of the train's gauge can be generated as the train travels along the track. Tools are available to measure the clearance between the outer surface and the swept volume of any structural gauges along the route. Digital trains can simulate train impacts, whether it be a train impacting another train or a buffer stop. Any train from any of your libraries can be simulated impacting any other train or buffer stop in your library, providing they have a compatible interface. Full 3D impact simulations can be used to design or assess the train's crash energy management or the tendency for vehicles to override or derail. Digital trains can accurately simulate the non-linear velocity sensitive performance of hydraulic devices and has tools to optimize their performance. As well as libraries for hydraulic devices, there are libraries for rubber or polymer buffers and deforming devices. There are also tools to allow you to design your own buffer or deforming elements. You can also upload structural deformation from finite element simulations or test data in the vehicle model and simulate how much deformation will occur at various speeds. You can request super elements containing the mathematical algorithm of your interface for use in finite element software such as LS Dyna or Radios. Coupler and anti-climber crash performance is tested in an ISO 17025 facility and correlated against simulations in accordance with the European Crash Worthiness Standard EN15227. This is only a short explanation of some of the things digital trains can do. You should also know that digital trains only use high specification servers and all data stored in the cloud is encrypted and all communications between your computer and digital trains are also encrypted. Digital trains will never share your data without your permission.